Hello and welcome to another edition of Toys from the Attic. For today's episode, I thought I'd be taking a look at Aquatic Suit Earthworm Gym. So without further ado, let's take a closer look at this guy. Despite Jim's supersuit possessing incredible strength and firepower, it also possesses a vast array of other gadgets such as an aqua mode that Jim is able to activate whenever he is taking part in an aquatic mission. Okay, so here we have Aquatic Suit Earthworm Jim. Now I've said before that I don't like variants on characters, especially if they haven't appeared in the show or in the video game. But this guy's the exception because this actual suit appeared in the show. There's one or two episodes where he had to go fight Bob, the killer goldfish in number four on his home planet. And when he was underwater, he was actually, he looked exactly like this. I think, I think in the episode two, though, like, he would press a button and his suit would revert back to its normal look. So I liked that even more. It seemed like it was an, it's not like it's a different suit he wears, but just a feature of his power suit already. I also like how they made it with this uh, nice uh, kind of, kind of aquish greenish blue. And how they gave this a little bit of scale patterns in there. It really helps feel the aquatic nature of this, of this figure. Another little neat feet feature is actually the feet, how they gave him little uh, fins and flippers. His backpack is actually made of a soft little rubber because this actually goes along with his gimmick. And you can kind of see, oh, I dropped one of his accessories, I'll get it later. You can see that it's a lot bigger than his normal backpack and it kind of looks like an aquatic backpack, I guess, just to help him zoom around and give him a little bit more propulsion. The same thing with these little shoulder mounted little uh, propellers. It's kind of the same thing that divers use if they need to like go long distances rather than swimming. They'll have like a little underwater motor. Anyways, as far as his gimmick goes, he has a water squirting gimmick. And I forgot to have a little bucket of water here. But you just fill his gun up and then he can squirt long distances. And that's pretty much it. Um, the gun actually snaps right on into his hand pretty tightly. And it has a little handle for a wrist support. And you can see it has a little harpoon right here. But the sad thing is, is it's tethered to his back, so it's going to be with him wherever he goes. I mean, you can't just have the regular figure right here unless you want to cut off that little tubing right there, and then you would lose his gimmick. Um, the other sad thing is his rubber is very, very flexible and loose, and that's only a bad thing if you're wanting to take him in the pool. As I've said before, I've taken some Ghostbuster toys that had that was made of this type of really soft rubber, and the chlorine just ate it all up and disintegrated it. So I never really took this guy into the pool or played with him too much in the water just because I wanted to preserve him how he was. Now the accessories that he came with was like a little tiny fish. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be snot in some sort of fish mode or just some sort of weird fish that's flying around him. Just with the expression on the face, it almost looks like this is some sort of weird fish that's just like, what the hell is this guy? Now he also comes with his standard gun. Uh, this is famous red gun, but it's blue in this case. And as you can see, instead of the little ball, it actually has a little harpoon at the top. So that helps give it that little aqua feel as well. Uh, let me try to get this in here. Oh, one more thing I almost forgot. He also comes with this little removable dagger that pins right onto a little peg on his foot. It's one of those things that can be e easily overlooked and lost, but I was able to keep it, keep it and hold onto it. So he definitely has another neat little accessory here. His standard points of articulation are the same as most of the other figures. His arms move up and down, his wrists kind of spin right here, and then his legs move up and down as well. His um, articulation is pretty symmetrical, which is kind of nice. A lot of other characters like this, like say Ninja Turtles, would they'd have one arm that swivels on the side here, or up and down, and then a wrist or an elbow that bends, and it was kind of just all over the place. It actually looks like his head could actually rotate side to side if you could get this glass plate off of here, but you can't, so his head's kind of always locked in that position. Other than that, he's actually a pretty cool figure, and I'm actually happy I picked him up. Anyways, this has been a look at Aquatic Armor Earthworm Gym. Once again, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed what you see today, please feel free to like, subscribe, or leave a comment below in the comment section. Also, feel free to check out some of my other toy review videos. Anyways, see you next time.